I'm Emilio Pasmino, and today we're in the Amazonian port city of Manaus. It's the Rio Negro, known as the Black River. And this river covers a really huge diversity of fish species. I believe it is over 400 people. But given the short amount of time we have here in Brazil, I'm not going to be able to show you nearly as many fish species by going fishing. It's going to take a long time. So instead what I'm going to do today is I'm going to visit the local fish market, see what they're selling. That way we have somewhat of an idea of what lives back here in the river. While at the same time analyzing how healthy the populations are. Given how busy this market is, it's going to be very noisy. And with the added fact that I'm going to have to speak Portuguese with the vendors, I recommend turning on the subtitles if you speak Spanish or English. Now if you're ready, let's go. They're just chopping them up by the dozen. And there's many different species of peacock bass. You see, I believe that one over there is the one we fish in Florida. The monocle peacock bass, the butterfly peacock bass. But then there's different types over here. This is they're all grouped together because they taste so similar. So here we have another familiar fish. Be a small one. But over there we have larger ones, but it's extremely interesting. 
catching a fish. And to know that this lives side by side with the other fish in the Amazon is quite terrifying. You got me. There was one fish I really wanted to show you guys before, but I don't seem to find it alive anywhere at this point. So the only one I see is this plastic monster. This is the Pirado food. But I know it as the Arapaima. It's the largest fish in the Amazon. It's said that the largest ones grow up to 14 feet. But given how much they're fish, one that size, or even close to that size, is very rare. Now here we do have the Pirado food, but it's in the lake. There's two main forms, fresh and unseasoned. And you have the food lake that are salted and dried. There are two main forms that the Pirado food is sold here in the market. One kilo. Well guys, that was a pretty hectic experience. And while I did see some familiar species, I expected to see more diversity. But talking with the local fishermen, they told me that years ago, the fish were bigger and there were a lot more species that could be sold. But now, it's getting harder and harder every time to find good fish. There's something going on here. And that's why it's very important to only buy fish from sustainable sources so that the population can replenish and we can keep enjoying this precious resource. Bueno muchachos, until next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss out on any new adventures by clicking the channel icon right above. Or click here to watch another video. And as always, thanks for watching.